protect Social Security from privatization. I oppose privatization. I also believe, and I know there may be one of one or two of you here on Social Security in this uh, in this room. Uh, you did not get a COLA increase last year. And the reason that you didn't get a COLA increase is because the government mandates that we use a consumer price index called CPIW in determining whether or not you're going to get an increase from Social Security. CPIW is urban wage earners. Essentially what they do is they go out and they do um, uh, surveys to determine what the uh, amount of money it costs to live uh, in a certain area. And that's what they use to determine whether or not you get a COLA or a cost of living increase. There's another uh, CPI that's been developed in recent years called CPIE. And it essentially stands uh, for Consumer Price Index Elderly. And it takes greater account, um, in, it, it, it takes into greater account uh, the cost that people who are on Social Security face, which is increased medical costs. And uh, so I would support, and I will introduce a bill in the Congress to change uh, the CPI that's used from CPI W to CPI E. Uh, which will then uh, help um, uh, Social Security recipients get a uh, cost of, uh, more likely have a cost of living increase every year. Uh, it's something that I promised I would do for my mom, uh, who uh, calls me every time she doesn't get an increase. It says, you know, it's all Obama's fault. I say it's not Obama's fault, it's really uh, Congress's fault.